What's up guys, welcome back to the Scope Spirit channel. So we're going to do a little break in the Sports in Anime 5 episode series and today we will look at UFC fighters that love anime. For those who don't know me, well my name is Jeremy and on this channel we're gonna talk about strength and combat sports and connect them with the anime world. So if you're hyped to see the future videos, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Now that all has been said, let's see who are the 6 UFC fighters that I found that are in love with anime. Let's go! So the first one is Alex Caceres. He's a featherweight fighter with a professional record of 18 wins, 12 losses and one no contest. Alex is a big fan of Naruto and he started watching it at the age of 15. During one interview, he said that by the age of 30, he was finally able to see the end of the series he grew up with. Apart from that, he thinks that a lot of mentality and ideas that the anime is preaching are very real and are not just some childish things. Now let's move on to the second fighter, Brandon Moreno. He is the current UFC flyweight champion with a record of 19 wins, 5 losses and 2 draws. He is well known in the UFC for his love of Lego but also for his gigantic collection of funk pop dolls. One of his favorites is Naruto as the 7th Hokage of the Iron Leaf during the Boruto timeline. Judging by all the other dolls, it seems that he is also a big fan of Boruto, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon and many other anime. And in addition to that, he really likes Marvel, DC Comics, Star Wars and many other references of the pop culture. Now let's have a look to the third fighter, Ronda Rousey. She's a former UFC bantamweight champion with a professional record of 20 wins, 2 losses and 6 title defenses. Regarding anime, she's a big fan of Dragon Ball Z, which she grew up with. And in addition to Dragon Ball Z, she's also a big fan of Pokemon just like me, and her favorite Pokemon is Mew. During interviews, she revealed that she was playing the trading card game and that she had every version of the video game. One crazy detail she mentioned is that on her first blue version, she had over 200 hours of game time. During one specific interview, she also made the parallel between Pokemon and real life with her MMA career. She was saying that when you enter a Pokemon gym, you will first have to beat all the trainers in order to change the champion and maybe you will earn the gym badge. And it's the exact same thing in the UFC. You will first have to climb up the division ranking by fighting with all the contenders, then you will be maybe able to challenge the champion and finally you will maybe obtain the UFC belt. I thought this parallel between Pokemon and the real life was very interesting and this will actually be one of the theme of a future video. Now let's move on to the fourth fighter, Roxanne Modafferi. She's a flyweight fighter with an MMA record of 25 wins and 19 losses. Although she's currently fighting in this division, she's also fought in multiple other weightlesses during her career. She's a big fan of Dragon Ball Z and more precisely of Vegeta. She said during one interview that she can relate to Vegeta since she was working very very hard without being able to be the number one. Regarding anime in general, she said that she really likes the mentality with which heroes are training very hard in order to be the bad guy. And the fifth fighter is Ben Nguyen. He's a flyweight fighter with a professional record of 18 wins and 9 losses. Ben is a big fan of Hajime no Ippo, an anime about boxing, which is for once kinda logical for a fighter. His intro song, played before he enters the ring, is one of the anime's opening. Regarding anime, and more precisely Hajime no Ippo, he said that it has been a great inspiration during all his fighting career. And last but not least, the sixth fighter is obviously Israel Adesanya. He's the current UFC middleweight champion with a MMA record of 20 wins and one loss. His nickname is The Last Tile Bender, which is a direct reference to Avatar, The Last Air Bender. And on top of that, he also has a tattoo of Toph on his right forearm and the ocean and moon spirit on his stomach. 
He also made some references to Death Note during his fight with Robert Whittaker. At the beginning of the fight, he was writing down Robert's name in the Death Note and it seems that he has been very effective since he has knocked him out in the second round. In addition to Avatar and Death Note, he is also a big fan of Naruto. We can see him running like a ninja in multiple occasions, wearing Akatsuki shirts during press conferences, doing ninjutsu and signs, or saying that he has the Sharingan during his fights. One of his favorite Naruto characters is Rock Lee. He says that he really liked Lee's first fight against Gaara. During his fight with Anderson Silva, he was replicating Rock Lee's stance and the funny fact is that without knowing it, Anderson Silva was replicating Gaara's stance. He really likes Rock Lee's ninja way and mentality regarding training. For anime in general, he said during an interview, the fight scenes is what drew me to anime, but then the stories and the death of characters kept me there. So that's it for the video guys. If you know some athletes that like manga or anime, do not hesitate to mention their name in the comment section down below. I'm saying this because I might do a part 2 for this video in the future with athletes from other sports. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.